The only thing that I have a slight complaint about is just visibility, a little bit. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing a 2023 C8 Corvette convertible. First and foremost, though, a huge shout out and thank you to the Larch Miller Chevy here in Murray, Utah, for giving me some time with this C8. This one is available for sale for the time being, so if you're interested, I'll include a link to their inventory in the description down below. If you have any questions whatsoever, just ask to work with Nick and Gage. They'll be more than happy to help you out. And then on a side note, if you want to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Now we're actually going to start things off with the key fob. We've got the Corvette logo there on the back. We have our unlock function, our lock function, the remote start function. And this is the opening for the trunk slash engine cover. And then this is the opening for the front. And then this is actually to lower down the convertible top with the key fob, just like what the Camaro has. Pretty cool functionality. But there's a key fob. Let's pop to the front. Now this is one of the cool things about the mid-engine design of the C8 Corvette is the fact that you actually get some storage here in the front, aka a frunk. There actually is an emergency button because apparently this is big enough to fit a person. And I mean, if I move this stuff out of the way, it's actually pretty dang uh, spacious here in the front. My favorite part though is like the hood design here where it's like sharp with the edges. I think that looks really neat, but cool practicality bit. Now let's go over the front end of this C8 convertible. So first off, you guys can see here with the headlights, we have the cool daytime running light design with the LED headlamps. Just a huge fan of it overall. We've got the Corvette logo here front and center. And then I love all of the openings here on the bottom portion. And then notice that actually here in the center, a lot of it's closed off. You got the cameras there on the front end, which is cool. And then look how aggressive the front splitter is. And yeah, overall, I love the design of the new C8. I mean. It was obviously released for the 2020 model year, but still in 2023 model year, it, it looks great. Coming around the side here, our time wheel setup is 245, 35, 19 in the front, and then 305, 30, 20 in the rear. So it is a slightly staggered setup. And then you guys can see this one has the all blacked out wheels. We do have the silver ring there on the outside, which I think looks pretty classy. Notice we have Z51 there on the caliper because this one does have the Z51 package, which is kind of like the performance package for the quote unquote base Stingray Corvette because we obviously now have the Z06. I love how it's molded here on the front. And by the way, I love this color. You guys can see it just absolutely sparkles. And then we've got pretty aggressive side skirts here. Obviously, we got the venting there on the side, which looks so, I mean, look how cool that is there. I love it. Mirrors are blacked out, roof is all blacked out. And so this has really cool contrast. And then you guys can see this has got the low profile spoiler there on the back end, but there's the side. So we've got the key fob again, because we're gonna press this a couple times and pop the trunk. I forgot on the convertible that it's not technically an engine cover because, well, yeah, you got the convertible top action. So as you can see, we've got quite a bit of storage space here in the back, but it's not as, well, I mean, it's pretty close to as practical as the, uh, you know, coupe version, but not quite as much. And I will say it is a little bit sad that you can't uh, see the engine like in the coupe version. And by the way, this is soft closed, so you just have to kind of like, Put it down and then just lightly kind of tap it in, then it'll do the rest of the work for you, uh, for you rather. And then you got the Stingray logo on this one. I mean, I guess you can kind of see through the venting here, but yeah, not a lot. Even though you guys can't see the engine, it's a naturally aspirated 6.2 liter V8 that goes through an eight speed dual clutch automatic transmission. Good for 495 horsepower and then 470 pound feet of torque with the Z51 package. Now let's finish things up with the rest of the rear. So first off, I love the sequential kind of like turn signal on the C8. I've always been a fan of that. Now if I actually lock, well actually I can just unlock it and you guys can see the lights there because they'll pop on. Um, really cool with the taillights as well. Big fan of the design. Got a Corvette logo again. You'll see quite a few of those in the car. Parking sensors here on the back and then I love the covers on the exhaust tips here. Now obviously the new Z06 has the exhaust tips in the center which is a little bit cooler but I still think this looks really good and there's the rear. Okay, let's see if my monkey brain can figure out this uh, top-down function. So we're gonna unlock it and then we're going to hold down the top-down button. And you have to keep holding the button. It's cool to see the mechanism back there, by the way. Can't really see too much of the engine though, right? It's a pretty cool function though. And the fact you can just do it with a key fob. That's fast, honestly, that is really fast and yeah, it looks really cool. I will say uh, with the top off, because you have like these little pillar things, it looks really good. It has this kind of like cool sports car type design. And obviously, I mean, it's basically a supercar, but 
yeah, let me know what you guys think with the uh, top down. Let me know if you like the convertible look more, if you like the coupe look more. So here's our front door panel, by the way. This is a 2LT, if you guys are wondering in terms of the material use and everything, but look at the red contrasted stitching. We've got padding all over, and the stitching is even down here on the bottom. And I love the contrast with the red and the black on this particular one. And then we've got the memory seat function here, speaker for the high performance Bose sound system, or sorry, performance series, rather. And then look at the carbon fiber trim on this one. I actually haven't seen that before with the C8. All of our window controls right here, door lock and unlock, and then the little opening for the door itself. And then you got the mechanism for the front and the trunk stingray logo and then this one has the cool carbon fiber seats so you can kind of see right there on the seat but yeah all red and yeah, love just love the look of it overall and you can see there at the bottom power adjustments here on the side and then here's the pedal layout down below and then we got this for like the heads up display this is for the steering wheel adjustment and then you guys can see more padding there on the dash of the stitching but let's pop in So the first thing we're gonna do is actually put the top back on. So we're just gonna hold this and it's pretty cool. It's fun to see it from inside too. Ah, it's like coming in. I feel like it's gonna hit my head, but it's not. Wow. That was, again, that's really quick. So here's a shingle for the C8. You guys can see really nice leather trim all around. I love the marker there at the top and then the red stitching. Again, it's got that like square design, which a lot of people complain about, but like I don't have a problem with it whatsoever. I love the gigantic paddles there on the back for the eight speed dual clutch. And then we have normal practical controls for like your cruise control. You got the Z mode. Uh, it's kind of like a performance uh, mode. It's a custom mode, by the way. You guys can see the setup right there. Um, but anyways, You've got your volume controls on the other side, heated steering wheel, voice command controls, you know all the normal stuff. Turn signal light stock, windshield wiper stock, and there's the steering wheel. So here is the center gauge cluster, full digital gauge cluster. I love the overall appearance. And actually, let's go out of the Z mode so you guys can see the gauge cluster, I guess, and then normal setting. There's a bunch of different ways you can like customize the gauge cluster to look, to look like as race car-like as you want, which I think is another fun party trick of the C8. And actually, we've got a bunch of different drive modes. So you guys can see we've got like a sport mode, and then we have a track mode and notice completely changes it so it's like across with the gauge cluster and that's the farthest you can go on the one side and then the other side you got the touring and then you get your my mode which again is your custom setup and then you get your weather mode as well so yeah it's just again cool with the customization cool with the gauge cluster changes now sorry about the glare it's just because there's a window behind us and i'll show that to you guys in a moment but anyways if we pop it into reverse we do have a backup camera with trajectory lines that turn with the steering wheel and you guys know i'm a huge fan of uh, gm's camera system um, so you got like this kind of like full 360 view which is great because again this is low to the ground so it's nice being able to see out of pretty much every single angle now as for the rest of the screen uh, first off response time fantastic with the screen you've got apple carplay and android auto Lots of glare, <laughs> but uh, again, you guys know I'm a fan of this uh, particular infotainment system because it works great and I feel like it's the perfect size. We have our whole gear selection system right here so you can see a bunch of buttons and little tabs and everything. It's very interesting. Got your manual mode there. And then as you can see, we've got this to pop up in the front camera. I like that they have like a shortcut button for that because again, that's the thing that's always the easiest to hit on cars like this. Front end lift and then stability control. And then this is the drive mode select right here. And you have like a wrist rest, I guess, to help you control the infotainment system if you want and then again i love the red here in the center looks really cool and then we have this whole interesting like climate control situation so like the top sections for the driver the bottom sections for the passenger uh, but it's obviously faced towards the driver so the passenger kind of has to like reach over in a funny way but anyways center console you can see pretty decent storage storage space there and then we have a wireless phone charging pad and then this is a 70th anniversary so you can see the little decals and everything and then notice again on the dash, just really cool with the overall. I love like how this is designed, but it definitely isolates the passenger. Like that is for sure. My poor Bill Stein backpack all by itself. Now this is to open up the glove box. You can see a pretty normal setup right there. And then the last thing I want to talk about, well, is actually two things. So first off, this one just has the uh, camera mirror setup, which something that I found out is if you have the top down, I don't think the camera mirror functions anymore. So like it automatically gets rid of it because if you have the top down, you don't need the camera mirror anymore, apparently. Um, other thing, this window right here. So sorry if the camera's a little bit too bright, but anyways, you've got this control 
and you can actually, I, I pressed the wrong control. Anyways, you can lower down that window just like the Ferrari 458 so then you can hear the exhaust a little bit better with the convertible without having to have the top down. Now in terms of pricing, C8s are still going for well over MSRP in today's market because there's so much demand. However, the Larry H. Miller Chevy here in Murray does not charge over MSRP for any of their new products. So if you want to order a new C8 or Camaro or any of the you know high demand Chevy product at MSRP, Larry H. Miller Chevy Murray, again, Nick and Gage will be more than happy to help you out. Let's drive this thing. Well, let's talk about visibility before we set off and it's automatically raising because I guess that this place has been pinpointed as a place to raise. But anyways, you got the heads up display and visibility over the hood, which is actually really solid. Both the mirrors do have blind spot monitoring. And then throughout the rest of the rear. And let's set off. Okay, so we are setting off in the C8 Corvette convertible and we're actually starting in the parking lot because I want to show you guys the practicality with this front end lift. So just like, you know, most low to the ground performance cars, you still want to angle it when you go up and down things. But this thing's basically like, you know, a Raptor from a ground clearance perspective with that front end lift. I'm, I'm being sarcastic, but like, it's it's pretty impressive, like just how much uh, front end clearance it gives the uh, C8 Corvette, considering, again, the performance orientation where like, again, no scraping whatsoever, and it just, it just does it perfectly fine. And then as I get up and start moving, it'll automatically lower uh, the Corvette right back down. Okay, so hopefully this GoPro view is a little bit better for you guys. But anyways, just driving around, I do have the back window open so that we can hear the exhaust a little bit more. And again, that's a big benefit of the convertible over the coupe is you can just roll down that window. I am shocked at how comfortable this is. I forgot how comfortable the new C8 Corvette is from a daily driver perspective. Now, I do need to mention this road was just recently redone. And so like super smooth pavement. Uh, when you go over bumps, just like, you know, most performance cars, like you feel it. It's, it's not squishy, you know, like an off-road truck or SUV will be when you go over a bump. But when you're just cruising along, it's, it's not like, you know, the wah, 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 wah thing you'll get with like some high performance cars. It, it's just, smooth coasting and the engine's pretty quiet i've noticed that it does have cylinder deactivation yeah v4 so it'll occasionally shut off half the cylinders to help you save on fuel and yeah this this is just like a, a good daily driver frankly so that's that's pretty impressive so i've got it in the sport mode now and the sport mode really does transform the c8 so it opens up the exhaust valves which i realized that during that exhaust revving clip i did I don't think I opened up the valves at all for you guys. But anyways, it opens up the valves. And then on top of opening up the valves, visibility, by the way, is it's definitely super car-like. <laughs> at least it has blind spot monitoring. Um, but yeah, on top of like opening up the uh, valves, it, it just like the shifts are a little more aggressive and it just, the car feels more aggressive overall. I also forgot with the C8 that they, uh, it shows you where the red line is depending on how like uh, warm or cold the car is. That's another cool, thing with it i will say i'm also pretty impressed with like the overall road noise i actually want to um well we'll get our acceleration and then i'll roll up the window because i want to see how quiet it actually is yeah this transmission is so responsive i forgot about that the only thing that i have a slight complaint about is just visibility a little bit <laughs> and that wasn't even like all the way to red line i was short shifting a bit it's so quick. Like it's just instant with the shifts. And the thing that's also great is like the handling feels amazing. So I'm gonna close that window. Okay, window's closed. I just wanna kind of listen to the road noise. So wind noise is pretty minimal. There is quite a bit of tire noise though. I do feel like I have to talk a little bit louder for you guys to be able to hear me. But you know, for a high performance, you know, sports car slash supercar, whatever you want to call it, pretty solid. 
I love how I can just downshift. You have to down downshift quite a bit though, because there's a lot of gears. And it just like, I mean, obviously that mid-engine precision, this thing handles amazingly well. I want that window down though, so I can hear the engine. You, it's it's like a nice, so like having the window up versus down, like when it's, when it's up, you can't hear the engine really all that much. Like you can kind of hear it, but not as much. But like with the window down, just like, you, you get like perfect access to the engine. I could see why a lot of people like the uh, convertible. Just, I mean, obviously, you know, the automatic top is nice. It's, it's convenient. But just being able to like hear the engine just a little bit more, I, I think that makes it, I think that makes it worth it. So summing things up, a few years after, you know, initial release with this, sounds so cool. I mean, just, just bangs off those shifts. Um, the C8 Corvette is still an amazing vehicle. Let me see if I can put it back into... Okay, there we go, automatic mode. I tried to pull the uh, that the uh, shifter and see if that would do it, but it didn't do anything. Um, so I guess just hold down the plus paddle like most cars. Um, but yeah, even a few years after release, still sounds amazing. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a big block V8, super comfortable, uh, super daily drivable, tons of fun. Um, I guess the only downside to the C8 that I can see honestly is it's so good It's so like the handling so good the uh, ride quality so good like it's so good at everything that it's It's kind of boring in a sense like it's so fun because of like how like fast you can drive and like how high the limits are But like it's one of those things where it's like it's almost like playing a video game with the cheat codes on in a sense and so it's Gotta love that V8. So it, it is it is kind of like, I don't know if, I, I, I think boring's probably the wrong term. It's just, it's almost too good. But yeah, if you if you happen to be able to get one of these, it's it's a blast and it's one of the few cars that has super car, I, I'm gonna call it a super car. It's one of the few super cars that you could daily drive and it's a Chevy, so it's reliable. Let me know what you guys think. That's gonna sum things up with our video on this C8 Corvette. Again, a huge shout out and thank you to the Larry Miller Chevy here in Murray for giving me some time with this Corvette. Again, check out the inventory in the description down below. If you have any questions whatsoever, just ask to work with Nick and Gage. I'll see ya.